Well, it was uh, obviously the plan had been to run the Dandy last week, but sadly for York and everyone, the rains came. So the ground was a touch more testing than we wanted 16 days off a derby. And the Navesmire is a race, is a track where the racing starts early when they straighten up. And so you don't get a little short run there. It's four furlongs down that straight, so we elected to come here. We came here, obviously not the original intention, but look, he thoroughly enjoyed himself, the horse. He had a feel of the track again. He did what I call a nice half three quarter speed, and then we always, when we're, we're doing this morning, we always pull up a bit early. I, I don't, when in the race, you go to the crown of the hill, but of course, the problem with going to the crown of the hill is you're pulling up downhill, so we pull up early, but uh, very happy with him. Is it a setback to have missed the Dante? Uh, I think that the Dante is three and a half weeks off. Uh, it would have been, but I think when it was uh, two and a half weeks off, for, for me and this horse, it would, might have been a setback to have run. And after he won here in April, the, the Blue Ribbon trial, the consensus was that he'd be better over further. Do you still hold that view? Yeah, I think Frank is clear he's been crying out for a mile and a half, and uh, we didn't put him in at the second stage, the supplemental stage in early April. Uh, I, I did it because I clearly felt everything he was showing me that he was a mile and a half horse, and so to that extent the trip should suit him well. Ground conditions, what would be optimal? Ground conditions, he's, he's fairly versatile, but uh, he'd love good ground like most horses, he'll handle good to soft, soft, but he wouldn't want it like a road and he wouldn't want it like a bog. Now inevitably with connections, uh, there's going to be comparisons with Golden Horn from a couple of years ago. His owner said before the Dante that he's worried he might not be good enough for a derby. What's your thoughts? Well, he's not in a Golden Horn class. I think so. The owner and breeder is absolutely correct about that. But he is, on the other hand, uh, he belongs with the horses this year. Golden Horns Derby was, you know, with Jack Hobbs, he went straight off to win the Irish Derby. It was a very elite event. This is an equally elite, but they are more even. Yes, there will be a proper Group 1 horse come out of this, but at the moment, you can make a case for at least six or eight horses in the field. And consequently, I can understand anyone saying, uh, yeah, you know, he, you don't compare him with Golden Horn, but look, he's, he's, he's going to be here all being well and he's going to put everything into it and he's a very nice horse. And the old adage, if you've got three for the derby, you probably haven't got any. With Aiden and Godolphin having so many, do you, do you think perhaps their the hand isn't quite as strong as look, it might be? Uh, if look, if either of them had a standout, they probably wouldn't want to clutter the field up because with the best will in the world, even the teammate can get in your way. Coming back, 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 you're coming down the hill and he comes back in your face. There's nowhere for a jockey to go sometimes. They're just pinned in. And so to that extent, I, but I think people are taking this as a great, it's a fabulous, fabulous race. Incredibly good sponsors. We're so lucky to have them. And I, people just want to be involved. They want to race. It's a derby. And if you go back to the old pictures, they weren't frightened of having 30 in the race. My God, there must have been some carnage coming top of the hill and coming down. But so I think that's going to be, it's going to be one of those great open derbies.